Assalamualaikum Aflawasalam We are here to try to promote and preserve uh, Singapore's interests. We try to work uh, uh, to promote relations, not just between the governments, but also between the business sectors, between academias, and also in the social and cultural realms. Singapore and Saudi Arabia enjoy a very warm and long-standing relationship. Um, we were very happy when my president, Madam Halima Yaakob, visited Saudi Arabia last November, one year ago. She came here at the invitation of the uh, custodian of the two holy mosques, His Majesty King Salman. And uh, King Salman awarded my president the King Abdul Aziz Medal, the highest civilian award in Saudi Arabia. I think we are all very appreciative of uh, His Majesty and Saudi Arabia for taking such good care of our Ummah when they come to Saudi Arabia to perform the Hajj and the Umrah. Well, I think Saudi Arabia has done an excellent job as the presidency of the G20. There is, it started out with a lot of high hopes and then suddenly the pandemic struck. After a few physical meetings have been held, uh, it was no longer possible to hold further physical meetings in Saudi Arabia because of the travel restrictions. But we see Saudi Arabia moving very quickly to convene meetings virtually. And over 100 meetings have already been held. I think this is uh, no mean feat. The Saudis uh, have also worked to develop an action plan. And this action plan covers uh, various issues uh, such as on the global economy, on healthcare, on, uh, on the environment. Some of the issues which uh, Singapore likes very much would be the, uh, for example, the digitalization of businesses, supply chain connectivity, uh, vaccine multilateralism, uh, IT. So these are the issues that we like a lot. So we appreciate this kind of uh, efforts by Saudi Arabia because it complements the work of the United Nations in promoting sustainable development. Well, when the COVID-19 struck the whole world, I think it was wonderful to see Saudi Arabia immediately moving into action to address the challenges of the pandemic. His Majesty King Salman convened an extraordinary G20 summit in March this year. This was the first virtual summit with so many world leaders in the world. And King Salman rallied the world leaders to fight the pandemic, to save people's life, to work on securing uh, therapeutics and vaccines to save the world. And he led by example, by pledging that Saudi Arabia will contribute 500 million US dollars to the cause of tackling the pandemic. And this spurred the other G20 countries to pledge a total of 21 billion US dollars for this cause. There are a good number of areas where the work of the G20 closely aligns with the work of uh, Vision uh, 2030. Of course, uh, Vision 2030 uh, is a very bold and ambitious transformation plan of Saudi Arabia. It will promote the uh, economic resilience of the kingdom for many years to come. I think some of the interesting alignments between the G20 and the Vision 2030 would include for example, it will include the concept of circular carbon economy, which seeks to reduce carbon emissions and uh, mitigate the climate change. I think there are also initiatives uh, such as uh, uh, working on the uh, promotion of uh, clean energy and renewable energy, as well as the better use of limited water resources. So these are the issues which uh, Singapore feels, you know, that uh, uh, Saudi Arabia uh, Vision 2030 is in close alignment with the work of the G20. Well, in Saudi Arabia, uh, apart from work, after work, I like to cycle and jog around the diplomatic quarter where I live. I like to, uh, to cycle around the Wadi 
and as well as the many parks around here. And uh, if I have uh, more time, you know, I like to visit the different parts of the country because this kingdom is so vast and so large. From high mountains to the seas to the oceans. I also like to go to explore the old souks near Masmak Fortress. And outside of uh, outside of Riyadh, you know, I like the caves at the Al Asa as well as the age of the world. I think these places are very beautiful. I find that the people of Saudi Arabia are very warm, are very gracious and very friendly. Since I arrived in Saudi Arabia, I have met many Saudi friends. They have invited me to their homes, uh, hosted me to fabulous lunches and dinners uh, and showed me their offices, their factories, their families. I have been really, really fortunate to have met such good Saudi people since I arrived. We respect Saudi Arabia as the land of the two holy mosques. But Saudi Arabia is so much more than just the home of Islam. If I meet people from outside Saudi Arabia, I would say, come to Saudi Arabia. Come and look and visit all the beautiful sceneries in Saudi Arabia, the lively beaches, the serene deserts. Come and sample the cultural heritage in Saudi Arabia. Welcome to Saudi Arabia. Afla wasalan. Shukran.